All right, welcome back, Busy Bees. Are you ready for math? Yeah! All right, here we go. Zzz, look, I've got my infinite whiteboard. I can just keep on scrolling down. And don't worry, the bees haven't disappeared. They're still there. See? All right, here we go. It's time for math, and we're going to first discuss our learning target. target. Okay, say it with me. One, two, three. I can, can use, use the, the commutative property of addition to solve addition problems. Excellent. So here we go. Let's solve some addition problems. All right. First, we're going to put our first number on the board, which is the number seven. You gotta love lucky seven. Then we're gonna be adding, so I'll put the addition sign here, and we're gonna be adding the number four. All right, let's see what we can come up with here. What I'd like you all to do is on your whiteboards, I want you to draw out a model to solve this addition problem. Are you ready? Go. Okay, I see everyone's done. On the count of three, I want you to chin it and spin it. Ready? One, two, three, chin it. Aha, yes, okay, yeah, excellent. All right, let's now spin our wheel of fortune and see who's gonna come up and share. I'll go into my Promethean menu here. I'll go to my locker and I'll go to my spinner. Here we go. Let's give it a spin. Whoop! Wheel of Fortune! Lauren, congratulations! Come on up! Yay! All right, Lauren, what we want you to do is we want you to show us how you drew your model to solve the problem. First, I drew seven counters. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I drew three more. Let's count together. Oh, four more. One, One two, two, three, four. four. And when I added seven counters plus four counters, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven. eleven. And so I wrote eleven for my answer. Fantastic. Now wait, before you go, let's dig into this a little bit further. What if we switched the seven and the four? Can you do that for us? Okay. Oops. Oh, got to go back to touch. There you go. Uh-huh. But then I need to move these around. Yes. Nicely done. Okay. All right, so let's count them again and see if that changes our answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's still eleven. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. We switched it around, but we still got the same answer. So I can use the commutative property of addition to solve addition problems and switch them around? Exactly. That's cool.